I'm Alison Medwell. My company is Medwell Creations, and I'm a digital event solutions company, which basically means that I deliver smart conferences. And what that essentially means is that the individuals that come to our conferences can utilise their own uh, their own phones and their own tablets. And when they arrive at the conferences, it's really the first glimpse that they will get of a super connected city. When people come to our conferences, they are, the, the main idea is that they can use their own mobile technology when they're on the move and use it in a way that they wish to do, to do so. So all the consumers will have access to conference information via a branded app or so forth. They can get venue information, they can get location information through maps, they can come along into sort of a main plenary environment where there could be anything from 50 to thousands of people in the conference and they can actually interact with the speakers who are on the stage. So they can be, the speakers might be asking them to vote on certain things, they can click up their phone and they can go into the app and they can actually vote on what ta is taking place and the results will be shown on the screen. They can ask the speakers questions, so you know, people can ask live questions but people aren't so happy about standing up in front of a, you know, a whole audience of people can actually submit questions to the speakers via their own phone or their own tablet, which they have then. Um, and of course, all this data is recorded and shared after the conference. Other ways in which we use the, the digital technology are in terms of within one-on-one -on -one meetings. We, uh, a lot of meetings, there's a lot of information that changes hands at conferences, essentially. So it might be reports. It might be presentations, which are you know the, the regular things that are exchanged. Um, we create QR codes whereby people can utilise their uh, a QR code scanner, which is built into the app which we use. They scan it, and basically that downloads a whole preview of it onto their iPad or onto whatever they're using. They can preview the presentation, look at it while the speaker is speaking to them, while the person in the meeting is going through the presentation, and then essentially that will be saved into a briefcase, which is then sent directly to their email after the conference. So there's so many different ways in which we can use the technologies and without the infrastructure, without the broadband in place, none of these wonderful things are going to work. The other thing which um, is particularly popular with um, you know, sort of the bigger brand names, I wouldn't say so much in the banking and so forth like that, but certainly your big brands who are selling to consumers, are obviously integrating the app that we use, we integrate with, you know, as with the social networking sites, so that people are feeding back about the conference into their own blogs or into, you know, just onto the Facebook pages or via Twitter, and they're talking about what's happening at the conference. They might sharing sharing the slides from the conference on SlideShare. Um, all these, all these many wonderful ways of sort of, you know, the digital world that is emerging today. And um, without the internet in place, this all fails to to work on the day. In my view, the way in which I use my my iPad or my iPhone is that I have I, I become a virtual person, i.e. I use Facebook, I use Skype to contact people who are who live far away from us. In a lot of my conferences we might be dealing with, you know, somewhere in South America, with, with people in the UK. And if I'm setting up lots of meetings, for me, uh, and hopefully for my clients, I don't see why there can't be virtual consumers or virtual delegates at the events that I do. So therefore if the meeting's going on, they should be able to Skype and people should Skype into that meeting. You know what, we can have a meeting with the people who have attended the conference in that meeting. And basically we, we create media rooms whereby um, they can have one-to-one -one meetings in those rooms utilising Skype, FaceTime. I know there are lots of other ones that can be used, but those are the most common ones. And that way, my client is having valuable meetings that basically wouldn't have happened. And again, without the broadband in place, not going to happen. You know, at one point there was this whole kind of move towards, oh, it's going to be virtual, you know, there's going to be virtual conferences, and then there are virtual conferences and things that happen like that. But I'm not entirely sure, in my personal view, that you're ever going to replace it entirely, because I think people buy an emotion, and, and people buy from people they like, uh, and there's a trust level, and however much, I, I think Skype and FaceTime and things like that go a long way towards helping with that. But I think actually meeting a person in person is kind of the clincher. It kind of, you know, either breaks the deal or it makes the deal at the end of the day. So, um, but I think, you know, I think FaceTime and that can, as you say, reach beyond the conference itself and get more people involved that perhaps wouldn't have been. So, yeah. Seven billion people in the world today. 6.5 billion are mobile subscribers. I mean, when you look at sort of how many mobile subscribers, and obviously 
in certain emerging economies and so forth. It's, it's quite interesting to see the difference for me in terms of which phones, which types, whether Android, iOS platforms and the different ones that are coming forward and how that's working. But now, obviously, sort of the Microsoft with it being, you know, more, more cheaper is now in those countries. So we're constantly trying to make sure that the apps and everything are savvy with what, you know, what's going on there and whether it should be now, you know, we've got to progress it onto Microsoft or BlackBerry. But I mean, I- inevitably, I think everybody, everybody is going to end up with a smartphone or a smart tablet. That, that's inevitable. You know, it may not be, you know, it may not be tomorrow, but it is going to happen. And therefore, you've got to have super fast broadband to be able to <laughs> to be able to do it, haven't you? Okay, wearable technology. Um, I think it's really interesting. I've been doing a lot of research into that lately. I think there's always going to be the people who go out there in the first place and will wear sort of, you know, the crazy glasses with the things in front of them. But then, personally, I don't think I will. I think when it gets down to the point, and this is where I'm looking for the technology to go, and I know it's on the cusp, is that... You know, I want it in their conference badge. That's where I want it. And I want the conference badge to be cheap as chips. Because then I can, if I have sensors that can pick up on where those people, it's kind of like, I put it down to, when I'm trying to describe it to people, the Marauder's Map in Harry Potter, whereby you can see where everybody is. And I think there will be a point where people kind of get over the, oh, you know, you know where I am, the big brother thing, and kind of go, you know, I'm at a conference. I'm fine for them to know that where I am in this conference. And, you know, so I'll know if they're actually in their meeting room where they should be at that time or if we need to go and find them and, oh, they're there, quick, so can you just get them to come upstairs now and be in this meeting because, you know, they're, they're 10 minutes late or whatever. That kind of technology, they can self-register into the conference, they walk through a scanner, it's registered, my clients know that so-and-so has arrived at the conference, perfect. It will just all be automated then. Critically, the super fast board brand needs to be in place, but that, for me would be fantastic. The other technology which I, I saw, which wasn't spoken about so much at CES this year, was bendable technology. Now for me, point of sale, posters at conferences, uh, any display at the conference I do, if it could be bendable technology, that would kind of rewrite everything I do because it, I, it would just be fantastic the things that I could do with that and set designs and things like that. It would just be really, really interesting. So. Those are the two things of the future that I'm really kind of looking at and thinking that could be really interesting technology for me. Yeah, within kind of enclosed in, in certain environments, I don't think, when you think of it kind of, I don't want people to know where I am all the time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That kind of idea for me is a little bit like, you know, I don't want you to know where I am all the time. But, and I wouldn't be, and I wouldn't be the person that puts that band on all the time either. But I might put it on every so often, or I might put it on when I went to a conference or something like that, because then I'm now part of, but I think younger generations won't care and they'll just wear it all the time. Because I have a two and a half year old that you know, is, is already digitally savvy on an iPad. You know, he knows where to look for things. He knows the little programs that he wants to play with and what he wants to do. And I think when you grow up with that kind of technology and he will see wearable technology from very early on in life, I don't think he'll have such an issue with it. Because let's face it, what's this? Alpha mothers, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Whereby you want to know, you know, alpha mothers want to know where their children and their family are at all times. There will be, probably in generations to come, mothers that are like, right, I'm, I'm having to work, everybody works, the father works, the mother works. We want to know where our child is and what he's doing in nursery. Wearable technology from that point of view, and being a mother myself, I can definitely see the benefits of that. <laughs>